I'm not an ultralight backpacker. I consider myself to be a lightweight backpacker. Lightweight backpacker is somebody who has a base weight of under 20 pounds, so they say. Who makes up these rules? I don't know. An ultralight backpacker is somebody with a base weight of under 10 pounds. Again, who made up these rules? Um, just packing as light as I can with the gear I want to carry. And that, I think, is probably 90% of us on the trail. This video is just going to cover my summer loadout. Uh, and so I'm going to include some of my fly fishing gear that I use when I'm backpacking. Uh, all right, let's start with the pack I'm using now. And I started using this uh, 2017, and I love it. It's the uh, ULA Alm 2.0. This pack weighs about two pounds. So as it's packed out now, it's exactly how I would take it on the trail. It weighs about 16 pounds without food and without any water. It has hip pockets. These come in real handy. Uh, there's a little trash in there. Protein bar wrapper out. We should. Uh... All right. So in the right hip pocket, I do carry uh, snacks for the trail, and then over on the left, the left side, I have a paper map, which I always take. Uh, this would be my phone. I'm actually using my phone to record this. So this is just the waterproof, life-proof case for it. Insect repellent. Uh, this is Repel DEET. It's very convenient size, but I'm switching to keratin. Sunscreen. And uh, lip balm. In this little pouch on the side, this is just a water bottle pouch that I've attached. This is a part of the pack. I will put a little mini tripod and whatever else I end up putting in there. So on the side, I put my shelter system. So uh, I have my hammock tarp. This is a Sil Poly tarp uh, and it's in snake skins. It's rolled up, it fits in there. I have a little ground sheet that goes under my hammock. I have tent stakes. Two MSR groundhogs and a little extra guy line and some titanium uh, shepherd boots. And then my ridge line for my tarp. So the idea here is when I get to camp, uh, if it's raining, I can go right to setting up my tarp. On this side, on the right pocket, I have my catered in bee free one liter water bottle with filter. And so this is what I've been using the last three trips. And I'm gonna stick with this as opposed to using my Sawyer squeeze filter with smart water bottles. I just really like it. On the front, on my pack straps, I started to use these little um, straps that came with a pack for sort of like hanging your, your thumbs in while you're, you're hiking. Um, I have a, a small Gatorade bottle and this is the bottle I drink out of. So this is all clean water. Everything gets filtered into here. I'll put my Propel or just fresh water in there. Now we start looking at the, the back of the pack. I do carry two trekking poles. I generally only hike with one. It is weighed with my pack. Uh, because I'm generally going to be carrying it in the, in the side pouch. Make sure I don't have anything else in there. I have a little uh, tackle kit. I was fishing, so here's my all my fishing tackle. Uh, but essentially, this just rigs up onto a belt. There's tippet. There's floating in here. Uh, fly line my tin car rod and two fly boxes, nippers and ink sets. My hoop kit, a aluminum trowel, some wipes and some toilet paper. For toilet paper I use the shop towel. If I need to get to it quickly it's, it's right here. I'll probably edit that part. 
also on the outside are my toiletries, but in my toiletries I'll have a toothbrush, I'll have my body glide, Dr. B's soap, toothpaste, uh, tablets, and some trail toes, which is a, a hydrophobic cream. An extra hat. This is more for a, for a sun hat. Uh, hat cover. I don't always take it. Uh, yeah, frankly, I've never used it. I didn't even know it was in there. Another water bottle. Two liter version. The um, B Free filter will fit onto this. Bug net. In the summer, in, there's no need for warm gloves. So I've just got a pair of light work gloves. Um, and my headlamp is in here. This is an old Petzl. I'm trying to slowly transition to all rechargeable um, electronics. Sit pad, Thermores ZC. Goes on top of my pack. I use this for a lot of things. So it has a windscreen for my stove to sit on it, put it under my feet in the hammock. Um, yeah. One thing that would be considered a luxury item for me is this little uh, lantern that I made. This is a tea light lantern. It's just two fast food um, soda fountain cups. Um, put a little water in the one cup and press this down in there, clip it together. Clip it together with these binder clips. And then the water um, actually uh, will uh, keep the plastic from overheating and melting. And I've used this now a couple times and I love it. Uh, just carry a couple tea lights and it's great. I really like it for solo camping. really light. Food bag, I'll talk about that in a moment. This is my Possibles bag. Um, this is, the bag itself could probably be a little lighter. Up. Eh, it's on the list of things to, to get. Um, so, yeah, it's probably about a pound. And here, in addition to my med kit and uh, my repair kit, which I'll go over in a different video. I do have a compass in here, which I don't always take because I have another small compass. Um, rather than carrying extra AAA batteries for my headlamp, um, carrying one uh, pen light uh, with one battery in it is lighter than the batteries that go in my headlamp. I end up using this all the time. So in addition to the headlamp, I'll use this. This goes in here, earplugs, um, because the woods are white. It's nice to have the, the white noise from the stream, but sometimes the stream is loud. So if I'm having problems sleeping, I'm going to use the earplugs. And just, uh, you know, I just kind of throw everything in here. I do have all my electronic stuff separately. Power pack, this is an Anchor Power Core 5000. It'll charge my phone a few times. I've got earbuds in here and you know, various USB cables. There's my extra clothing. Uh, my hammock. And bug net is in here. I've added the bug. The bug net is separate from the hammock, but it's uh, it's attached now because it's summer and there's bugs. Uh, my hammock suspension is in there as well. Uh, this is just a Frog Togs uh, rain jacket. Uh, durability of it is questionable. I rarely wear it um, in the rain. I do more wear it around camp than anywhere else. Um, and if it does get a little hole, I can patch it with uh, duct tape, which is in my repair kit. Don't necessarily carry this bag. I just keep it in there when I'm storing it. I do 
these are uh, flip flops. These are my camp shoes. Don't always take them. I have started taking these just because I found these at Walmart and they weigh something like three ounces. And then inside of my pack, I have a sleeve for my fishing rod. There's my fishing rod. Easy access. Uh, I do not carry it on the outside of my pack. And then down to the bottom of the pack, my under quilt, my DIY climate shield under quilt, which is my summer quilt, and my Costco down throw modified as a top quilt in my hand. Good down to about 50 degrees. I do have a pillow, another climate shield pillow, and I have a second pillow. It's a Sea to Summit Arrows pillow, ultralight. I like to have it under my knees at night. And then a trash compactor bag liner, which is with this, since all my insulated, all my clothes and uh, my under quilts and top quilts and hammock are in this. I don't really feel I need to have a pack cover. Everything from the shoes and gaiters and uh, socks up to the hat are things that I'll wear every time. Starting with the shoes, these are trail runners. Lead, uh, these are the Leadville, New Balance Leadville uh, V3s, I think. Looks like they're showing some wear here. Um, I am using the Darn Tough trail socks, um, some Dirty Girl gaiters, um, Patagonia baggies. Um, these have the liner in them, so I kind of switch back and forth between these and uh, running shorts. But last time I wore running shorts, I missed the pockets. Um, just a running shirt, just a quick dry shirt. Uh, runner's hat. I do take one bandana and that. So those are all the items that I wear all the time. Um, and then down to the clothes for my last trip uh, that I packed. Uh, and this is pretty typical for summer. So I do have uh, camp clothes that I'll change into, especially at, uh, in the evening. And what I have here is um, just some Columbia convertible pants. These are treated with Promethean. A shirt, which is a long sleeve shirt, also treated with Promethean. It's a quick dry shirt. Um, and this will be my fishing shirt as well. I've got a little buff. Um, so this is a summer, this is the, the, I guess the warm weather buff. And I cut it in half, now I have two buffs. Um, I just don't need the full size buff. Um, extra pair of smart wool socks, um, a belt for the pants, but the belt also is a dual purpose thing. So this is what my tackle bag goes, attaches to, because I do not have a belt on my shorts. For sleeping at night, if I need to, I just have a pair of polyester dress socks. Um, they're just lightweight socks. These are waterproof socks. These are really the bomb. Love these. These were a luxury item at first. Now they are a uh, full-time, they have a full-time place in my pack. Um, I will get to camp if my feet are wet, which they almost always are. Dry my feet off. Um, put a pair of uh, liner socks on and then put these on and then put my wet shoes back on and I'm good. The small cut down towel so even that is a little big. I could probably cut that in half again. Um, this is a luxury item. Don't really need it uh, unless I know that I'm gonna be swimming or in the water a lot, I might bring it. it it's not critical. So uh, for my sleep system, this is a Costco down uh, throw. I folded it in half. I sewed the bottom half and so now it, and then put a snap at the top. Uh, and that is effectively a top quilt. Uh, good down to 
I mean, 50 would be the bottom bottom end of it. Uh, I don't think I would want to. I've had to I've had to double up on these uh, in cooler weather when it got down into the 40s. By the way, this weighs a little less than a pound. Uh, my my under quilt, which is really necessary. Uh, the under quilt is a DIY thing. I made this myself. Um, this is made from 3.5 ounce Climate Shield, and this in total, even with with all the straps and everything, uh, it's three quarter length, so it doesn't cover my whole uh, the bottom of my hammock. I don't really need it to, especially in the uh, the warmer weather um, and this will get down to 40 um, and it weighs about a pound actually much uh, I think it weighs about 12 ounces well, I was really happy with that and with the leftover material I also made a pillow love it um, another pillow uh, DIY hammock and bug net this is an 11 foot hammock uh, this is my go-to hammock for everything. Um, again, a DIY tarp, uh, part of the hammock system. My ridgeline and stakes, and a little ground sheet that goes underneath my hammock, uh, just someplace dry for me to set, set things at night. That window uh, film that you get from like Home Depot and Lowe's, I just cut a little piece down. Really lightweight stuff really tough too. Sit, sit pad. Here's the electronics kit with the power pack. Um, trail toes. And these are uh, toothpaste tablets. I just don't carry a tube of toothpaste. I just, you know, determine how many brushes I need. Uh, Dr. Bronner uh, soap. Matches. I don't know why that's in there. Body Glide. I don't even use this. Um, and then a travel toothbrush. My possibles bag, gloves, extra hat, which I do wear often when when there's a lot of uh, sun exposure and I'm coming out of the woods in a meadow or something. And if I'm hiking like at Dolly Sods, um, where you know I just I just want a little bit of shade over my ears. Water bottles, headlamp, bug net, and then down into the cook kit. It broke this down. I do carry two spoons. Uh, I don't always carry these two. I usually carry this as a backup. Um, I do have long handled spoons over here. By the way, this is not a spoon. This is a spork. Um, it's worthless as a fork, work worthless as a spoon in my opinion. This is a titanium one. Uh, I do like the fact that it is titanium and I can sterilize it. Long handled uh, Lexan spoon, short handled Lexan spoon, which is generally all I need. Coffee filter. If I am making, plan to make coffee and do not want instant coffee, um, this goes into the hot water with the coffee in it. Um, a Tokes 750 mil uh, titanium cup, little uh, windscreen for the canister stove. I did not take the canister stove to Seneca Creek. I took this, which is a fancy fee stove. This is a DIY stove. Here's another DIY alcohol stove. Uh, this is not great in uh, cool weather. Um, this is great in cold weather, but this thing is overpressured on me too many times and uh, blown my pot over, uh, tipped, spilled alcohol and started fire. So that's probably not gonna go with me anymore and I've, I've gone back to the canister. Uh, in the pot, when everything packs up, everything fits in here except for the filter. I do have a couple little towels, a lighter. There is a lighter in my possibles kit right there an extra one so I have two lighters and a couple books of matches. Uh, I do have a bear bag, um, a standard bear bag that you would hang, uh, but I have switched uh, to the Ursac. This is nice and clean. I washed it. I like the Ursac because I do not have to hang it. I can just tie it to a branch. 
you can research the ursac and figure out if it's something you would you would consider uh useful but um it is it comes in at a half pound yeah. everything to the left of the trekking pole is which i take it's the second trekking pole is considered a specialty item ultralight um, umbrella i've gone to back to using an umbrella for these warmer temperatures where you know frankly it's you get better coverage um, I, I will probably start using this every time rain is forecast uh, talk about these um, also um, in pl in lieu of using an alcohol stove I would use uh, probably not this stove uh, but these are as a bit um, fuel tabs you get about 30 minute burn time with all four of these tablets uh, the stove is galvanized steel it is uh, they still sell it they still make it mine's quite old it says made in West Germany that used to be a country my lantern which is going and then uh, my flip-flops a larger pot for um, times when I might be cooking uh, not cooking for myself, cooking for multiple people. These uh, GSI uh, coffee cups are pretty cool. They are not heavy at all. They're insulated. They have measuring, um, measuring marks on them. They're cool. They fit down into this too. Going stoveless, I might just take jars. This is a gelato jar and a uh, peanut butter jar. Pack some pasta salad in this or soak some oatmeal in it. Um, I just put this down here because I am switching to picaridin instead of DEET. So I will be loading this up with picaridin and leaving the DEET at home. For particularly the buggy situations is this little off fan. You can hang it from a lanyard or clip it onto something. Pack cover, eh. When you buy the Frog Togs, uh, rain jacket it comes in a set with the pants the pants are horrible they're too long they're too baggy uh, so what i've found is you can and i didn't think of this myself cut them off like shorts and i even went as far as to cut cut the middle out of them so you can wear them as sort of a rain kilt uh, but what i really like about them is if i'm changing in a parking lot or then i can put those on and just drop trial okay uh I used a Tenkara rod. This is the original Tenkara USA Iwana. Bought it in 2009, still have it. I use this a lot in the back country. Uh, I do use Western fly rods as well, and I do specialize in building those rods uh, for pack rods. Um, I did switch out from, this is the, the rod tube that comes with the rod. It's slightly heavier, it's about twice as heavy. I think this is about eight ounces um with the rod in it and then this is just um, a rod sleeve i made this slides down into the uh the, the side of the pack uh inside the pack but on the side and uh this weighs just i think two ounces um the rod just slides down in here this is made from the tubing you store uh fluorescent light bulbs in and you just cut it down and um, then I have some bushcraft stuff. I've got a saw, a more knife. Uh, I don't always take that. And um, fire steel. This is a roller, mini roller for rolling out my legs. And this weighs a little less than a pound. Uh, so I sometimes will take that. If I'm... And that's it. Now it's time to pack the pack up and weigh it. Right, let's figure out what the total weight is. There we go. 16.5. Thanks for watching.